The Galaxy S26 Ultra leaks are getting more interesting, and the latest one might have just revealed the screen size of Samsung's next big flagship. According to well-known tipster Ice Universe, the S26 Ultra is expected to come with a 6.89-inch display. That's basically the same size as the 6.9-inch screen we got on the S25 Ultra, so no changes in size this time. But here's the twist. Ice Universe also claims that Samsung is packing in some surprises with its core display technology. So even if the size doesn't change, the actual experience just might. Now, this does kind of clash with an earlier rumor that suggested slimmer bezels and possibly a bigger display squeezed into the same body size. Honestly, it could still be both. Smaller bezels, slightly tweaked dimensions, and some hidden display magic that Samsung isn't ready to reveal yet. And speaking of surprises, there's been talk about some AI-powered privacy features. Basically, imagine if your phone could automatically protect your screen from prying eyes. You open your banking app or a private chat, and the screen angles shift so only you can see it clearly, while anyone around you just sees a dull blur. That's a huge step up from those thick privacy glass protectors that kill your brightness. This all ties into something big happening in Korea. Reports say Samsung Display is ramping up production of what they're calling FlexMagic Pixel technology. It's AI-driven, it can control each OLED pixel individually, and it adjusts viewing angles depending on what you're doing. If that tech makes its way into the Galaxy S26 Ultra, it could be one of those features that really sets it apart from every other Android flagship next year. On top of that, we're also hearing whispers about a curvier design this time. So maybe less of those sharp edges and a smoother overall look for the 2026 model. All in all, Samsung seems to be cooking up more than just another incremental update. If this Flex Magic Pixel tech really lands on the S26 Ultra, this phone could make privacy a whole lot smarter while keeping the gorgeous screen quality intact. So what do you guys think? Would you be excited to see this kind of display innovation on the S26 Ultra, or do you think it's just another gimmick? Drop your thoughts in the comments, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.